And now, the finals between these two amazing players, the Prussian Prince and the Armenian King in the Cup of Nations. I guess this is the ra- group stage. I'm not really sure. I don't really care. I just want to see these two players <laughs> battle it out. Uh, the first two games were definitely very, very interesting. Basically, the most interesting aspect of that was how Prussian Prince adapted to his loss in Game 1. <clears throat> while the uh, the Armenian king stuck to his same, same strategy in game 2 and lost. So now the onus is on the Armenian king to change his tactics and switch up his strategy. Let's see if he has. Now he, I believe, you know, this is definitely Armenian king picking this map because it is Armavir. Uh, but it's not, the, it's not the unbalanced... Oh yeah, so then it's the Prussian prince who's picked this map. Yeah, Prussian prince has picked this map because you can see there is a... There is a downhill slope right here. It's not very prevalent, but it's definitely noticeable. So if the Armenian king posts up right here, he will definitely be suffering from, uh, you know, some downhill charges. Radiant is very, very... Ooh, what the fuck is Armenian... Is, what, what is Prussian Prince doing here? Wow, okay, this is... <laughs> it's gonna be... This is very risky. Very, very risky. This is the deciding game between these two people as well. So, Armenian king, he has removed the three Britain Slingers, which he had before. And I can see there are two reasons because of that. One, because in game two, his Britain Slingers didn't perform at all. And uh, now that there's Armavir and there are woods here, why would he ever bring Slingers? He's instead brought more uh, Levy Freeman. So the recipe for, uh, you know, turning back a game is just <clears throat> bring more Levy Freeman. As simple as that. Besides that, he's brought six uh, uh, Chosen Swordband and two Heroic Nobles. Meanwhile, um, the Prussian Prince has brought a total of five Lusitani Nobles and three veteran shield warriors again giving uh, the Lusitani a huge upper hand in um, <clears throat> in the melee infantry front the levy freemen have to be used very well in ca- if um, i mean king wants to win this because he has he has brought also one extra veteran rider i believe one two three four five six there we go six veteran riders so he saw that he had such a severe cavalry disadvantage in the second game he's brought one more and now he's brought a lot of great support for those veteran riders in the uh, Levy Freeman. But it just depends on how well he uses them. Now we can see such a ballsy play from the Prussian Prince. He's enveloping uh, Armenian King. And this might actually serve to be a bit counterintuitive. Because again, th- these are not the most uh, even. This is not the most even terrain. He has to pass through forests, depleting his charge right here. Uh, he will be going uphill. Slight uphill, but still definitely uphill. So, while uh, surrounding an opponent, no matter how good the quality of the opponent is, definitely poses some psychological threat uh, because he, he has to protect his rear at all times, making him less aggressive. And you'd always want to go aggressive with uh, a barbarian army. Don't want to stay defensive with a barbarian army. So, in that sense, going uh, surrounding your opponent is smart. But you have to be very careful about the spacing of your units because it'll be just that much it'll be exponentially easier for you to have maybe a couple of cavalry units like like these guys uh, just stuck out in a battle without any reinforcements. While the player who is getting surrounded has naturally has his, uh, his reinforcements much closer. Now, Armenian King is pulling back into the forest, which is a very smart move, uh, making sure that uh, the Prussian Prince pulls, pulls in. It does get a bit more even in this side. Once, you know, this is really the more uneven part of the terrain. And once you get to this side, uh, things kind of even out, I would say. Yeah, they are pretty even for the most part. Now, Levy Freeman charging in. Now, the veteran shield warriors have wasted one of their uh, javelin volleys. Ooh, rear charge onto Lustine Nobles. Won't do a lot of damage, uh, but will stop them. And he should pull back with them. Uh, and while I'm, uh, while the Prussian Prince is busy over here, uh, veteran riders just got free reign, got a rear charge onto Lustine Nobles. Going to rear charge this veteran shield warrior. The Skutari Cavalry are not going to be quick enough. And that means once Kutari ca- one veteran shield uh, warrior is dead, although the uh, veteran riders, on the other hand, are basically stuck between a rock and a hard place, and that means he loses that uh, cavalry advantage in numbers that he had earlier. Veteran riders, again, this is not quick enough. He needs to be much, quick in- uh, much quicker. Once the veteran riders flatten the loose tie nobles, he needs to pull them back and then bring the chosen, uh, the, the heroic nobles. Otherwise, it's just a bad move. It, it, it is counterintuitive. So here, Lustani Nobles getting caught by uh, Levy Freeman and then uh, removing that charge, getting charged at by this Chosen Sword Band. Here, the Skutari Cav have uh, gotten caught because they didn't charge at this Chosen Sword Band. So they didn't get a charge bonus there. But here, these Chosen Sword Band, even though they are in shield wall, they're getting rear charged by Skutari Cavalry. 
they don't have they, they have very poor morale 55 morale is just about okay uh, you'd want 60 morale that is that's actually a good sweet spot so 55 they're definitely very very weak very vulnerable to cavalry charges and here again scutari cav charging into the rear this is not looking good for the for the armenian king his uh, heroic nobles will do will trade okay against the lusrani nobles but they will be in a very precarious position the veteran riders though they, they there are some veteran riders roaming around should try and uh, you know catch these uh, scutari cavalry before they do too much more damage again it's not the number of kills it's the hp damage that they cause and it's the morale penalties that they inflict uh, and this is already a one-sided contest. The Lustrani nobles are just going to crush this and then uh, the flanks will disappear for the Armenian king, which is not good. Levi Freeman, again, he brought a lot of them. Most of them have not really performed in this battle at all. Veteran riders have caught the Skutari cavalry and this one is going to charge in and intercept them as well. Although, uh, you know, at this point, it's not looking good at all for the Armenian king. The cho chosen sword band here are at full strength. This heroic noble is, is doing pretty well against this veteran shield warrior. I think the veteran shield warriors love punching about their weight because they'll get a lot of kills. They will die regardless of the unit, but they will get a lot of kills if they're, due to their sheer aggressiveness. So I guess it's a good idea to just put them up against, uh, you know, elite tier infantry. So here, veteran shield warriors wavering and dying to chosen sword band, and uh, Scutari cavalry rear charging chosen sword band here again, that inflicting those very crucial morale penalties. And uh, veteran riders just charged into the rear of the Lustrani nobles. The general is already down to 57 men. Meanwhile, the heroic nobles general, which are who are definitely much more tanky than the Lustrani nobles, are doing much better. So, but the 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 Armenian king's left flank has crumbled. He has a full strength levy, uh, half strength levy freeman that's not doing anything here, which is kind of bad. And uh, here, here, the Lusani nobles are wavering. Lusani nobles are wavering across the field, it seems like, because this Lusani noble general is not doing very well. He's got one full strength Lusani noble, though. That's not good. Uh, chosen sword band here, 50, uh, 54 kills, and got charged at by Lusani noble. Um, again, the fact that most of this is fought in the forest provides kind of an advantage to the Iceni over the Lusani. I would say. Slight, slight advantage. They are slightly more tanky than, than the Lusani. Heroic Nobles here charging against uh, Veteran Shield Warriors. Veteran Shield Warriors gotten 164 kills already. Uh, but they are going to die to Heroic Nobles. Here the Lustrani Nobles have persevered, killed off a Chosen Sword Band here. But they are going to get charged at by another Chosen Sword Band. But he's pulling away from Lustrani Nobles who are going to get so many kills while they are while they're chasing off these units, I would, I would think. So here is Kutai Kav again. Boom. Uh, having Skutai, this is why I said the, the cavalry uh, cavalry quality for the Lustani really shines against the Iceni. Um, veteran ride is just not good cavalry at all. And here the, the Skutari cavalry just intercepting these heroic nobles, letting the veteran shield warriors get a few more kills against these chosen sword band, letting him uh, hold out the center for a little bit longer. Um, and then, you know, that would just give him more time for his Lustani nobles to kill off these heroic nobles before they come in and crash in. All in all, this is definitely looking like it's going to go in the Prussian Prince's favor. Chosen Sword Band here, 73 kills. Uh, sorry, 73 men left, 87 kills. Another rear, rear charge from the uh, uh, Scutari Cavalry. We've got 44 kills here. Uh, 59 single experience chevron, 57 and 90. They've done a very, very good job in this game. So here, that this full strength Lustrani noble is going to be such a pain to deal with. The chosen sword band and heroic noble is just not enough in numbers for them to really stop this, uh, stop this freight train. So here, Lustrani nobles. Let's put this in cinematic mode. Whoa! I've never seen that animation, dude. I've never seen that animation. Oh, that was awesome! Did you guys see the, when the two guys were like pushing their shields against each other? I've played thousand and three hours of Rome too, and I've never seen that animation. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, but um, Lustrani nobles. They are dying because shield wall again gives them that uh, bonus. But then rear charge from the Skutari cavalry. See, that is the one thing that Prussian Prince has not capitalized on in this entire set of three matches. He hasn't pulled out his infantry when shield wall was activated. Granted, it, it is a risky move against a player that is as good in micro as the Armenian King, but I think it's a risk that can be justified if you can get a second charge in. Now, the heroic noble general, who's done very well too, about to get a single silver, uh, but he's getting rear charged here, here. He's done very, very well, the heroic nobles, against Lustrani nobles. 
and costly victory to the uh, to the Prussian prince, and that means he wins uh, the set of three games against the Armenian king. Very well fought by both players, and it was an absolute pleasure to watch and commentate over these three games. Hope you guys enjoyed the the set of three games. I definitely know I enjoyed it, and uh, stay tuned for more. Peace.